हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस वीडियो इंक्लूड्स द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एमिशंस फ्रॉम ट्रांसपोर्ट सेक्टर एंड ट्रेडिशनल पावर सेक्टर हेयर वी विल डिस्कस हाउ द ग्रीन हाउस गैसेज एंड एमिशन ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एफेक्ट्स आर हेल्थ एंड आर इन्वायरमेंट इन दिस इमेज वी कैन सी दैट इफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड एमिशन वर विजुअल then we could see violet smoke like effect from each vehicle this violet smoke like effect is main source of uh, greenhouse gases in the form of each vehicle's carbon dioxide emission fossil fuel took millions of year to form but we burn in it in few minute and produce carbon dioxide as an end product the world releases more than 30 billion ton of carbon dioxide per year which is about 60000 ton per minute carbon dioxide has half life and it accumulates in atmosphere presently carbon dioxide has built up to an average of about 380 ppm in the atmosphere and is beginning to so is its effect in the form of global warming which is triggering climate change scientists are afraid that when the world's average warming rises further by more than 2 degree centigrade the climate change may become irreversible and the world ecosystem will be in the state of dysfunction adding greenhouse gases has little effect on incoming short wave solar radiation but increases the amount of outgoing long wave terrestrial radiation that is absorbed in the lower atmosphere the resulting the warming of lower atmosphere commonly known as enhanced greenhouse effect or global warming in the atmosphere The principal greenhouse gases are water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide, and ozone. But the major cause of global warming is by the release of mainly carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Some greenhouse gases have great greater potential to warm the atmosphere than the others. For example, methane is a much more powerful greenhouse gas than carbon dioxide. But because there is less of it in the atmosphere its overall effect is less than that of carbon dioxide this pie chart shows the total greenhouse gas emissions due to human activity as we can see here 16% is a methane of total emitted greenhouse gases 6% is nitrous oxide and 2% of other gases but the major contributor of greenhouse gases is carbon dioxide 11% carbon dioxide emission is recorded through forestry and other land uses and 65% is from now comes to different sources of world's carbon dioxide emission that is dictated by this pie chart here we can see that 13% of carbon dioxide is emitting from transport sector 7.9% from residential and commercial buildings 19.4% is from industrial sector 13.5% is from agriculture sector 17.4% carbon dioxide emission is from forestry 2.8% is from water and wastewater industry and 25.9% carbon dioxide is caused from the energy supply from last century carbon dioxide emission have been increasing at exponential rate carbon dioxide is mainly is mainly being emitted by fuel combustion by far the most carbon dioxide is being emitted by burning fossil fuel or fossil carbon as fuel here is the break up of carbon dioxide emission from different transport mode different transport mode like road transport is cause of 80% carbon dioxide emission air transport is cause of 13% carbon dioxide emission sea transport is cause of 7% carbon dioxide emission and remaining 0.5% is due to the rail transport now comes to the calculation of carbon dioxide emitted from traditional power sector from the literature and from experimental studies it was found that if we are using 1 kilowatt of electricity then it will produce 0.372 0.48 kg of carbon dioxide but it depends on the type of fuel used to produce electricity therefore if a family is using average of 300 unit electricity in one month or we can say we can also say this 300 kilowatt of electricity in one month 
then with the help of given carbon dioxide produce production rate we can find out the total carbon dioxide produced per year from that family let's see how so one year means 12 months so and and in one one month electricity consumption was 3 300 unit thus in 12 month or in one year the total consumed electricity unit will be 3600 units now it is given that using 1 kilowatt hour of electricity produces 0 0.37 to 0 0.48 kg of carbon dioxide then for 3600 unit of electricity it will produce 0 0.40 multiplied by 3600 that is 1440 kg of carbon dioxide per year or 1.44 ton of carbon dioxide in one year as we have seen earlier that the generation of carbon dioxide will depend upon the quality of fuel used for power generation therefore for finding the emission rate of kg of carbon dioxide per kilowatt hour of power from different quality type of fuel first we have to multiply the emission factor of different type of fuel to uh, per year electricity consumption then we could get the exact value of emission of carbon dioxide from different fuel based power plants. Thus, emission factor for lignite based power plant will be 1.3 kg of carbon dioxide per unit of electricity use. For coal based power plant, this will be 1.05 kg of carbon dioxide per unit of electricity used. For diesel, naphtha, and gas based power plant, the emission rate of carbon dioxide will be. 0 0.65, 0 0.64 and 0 0.42 kg of carbon dioxide per unit of electricity used respectively. Thus, if we have to find out the emission rate from lignite based power plant, the emission rate of carbon dioxide will be 300 kilowatt hour multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1.3 that 1.3 is the emission factor for lignite. So, the product of multiplication will be 4680 kg per year. So, this 4680 kg of carbon dioxide emitted from lignite based power plant in one year. If we have to find out the emission rate from coal based power plant, the emission rate of carbon dioxide will be 300 kilowatt hour multiplied by 12 multiplied by 1.05, 1.05 is the emission factor for coal. So, the product will be 3780 kg of carbon dioxide emitted from coal based power plant in one year. Likewise, previous calculation, the emission rate from diesel based power plant will be 300 kilowatt hour multiplied by 12 multiplied by 0 0.65. 0 0.65 is the emission factor for diesel. Thus, the product will be 2340 kg per year uh, carbon dioxide emitted from diesel based power plant in one year. Emission rate from naphtha based power plant will be 300 multiplied by 12 multiplied by 0 0.64. So, 0 0.64 is a emission factor for naphtha. Thus, the product will be 2304 uh, kg of carbon dioxide emission from naphtha based power plant in one year. Likewise, the previous for gas based power plant, the carbon dioxide emission will be 300 kilowatt hour multiplied by 12 multiplied by 0 0.42. 0 0.42 is emission factor for gas. Thus, the product will be 1512 kg of carbon, di carbon dioxide from gas based power plant in one year. Here, the compa comparison of carbon dioxide emission from traditional power generation shows that the emission of carbon dioxide is highest if a family use lignite, lignite based power plants generated electricity and the electricity based power plant will generate the lowest carbon dioxide per year. The gas based power plant will also emit lesser carbon dioxide but it will be higher than the electricity based but lower than the other fuel based power plant. In comparison of naphtha and diesel based power plant, the diesel based, uh, di diesel based power plant will generate higher carbon dioxide in comparison to naphtha. So far, we have calculated the emission rate of carbon dioxide 
for power sector. Now we will calculate the carbon dioxide emission per year from transport sector. Thus, the ARAI or Automobile Research Association of India or ARAI factor in gram per kilometer is used as a thumb rule for calculation of different vehicles emission rate. Thus, ARAI factor for petrol based two wheeler is 45.6 gram per kilometer, CNG based three wheeler is 57.7 one gram per kilometer petrol based motor car is 126.5 gram per kilometer and diesel based motor car or truck is 166.15 gram per kilometer thus for average of 100 kilometer per day run different vehicles carbon dioxide production per year could be calculated considering 320 days in one year because Weekends are excluded from this calculation. Thus, we have not taken 65 days in one year. Therefore, for petrol waste two wheeler, the carbon dioxide emission will be 100 km per day multiplied by 320 day per year multiplied by ARAI factor which is 45.6 gram per kilometer and divided by 1000 for converting gram of ARAI factor to kg or for unit balance. Eventually, we get 1459.2 kg of carbon dioxide will emit from petrol based two wheeler in one year if the vehicle will take 100 km per day run. Likewise, for CNG based three wheeler, the carbon dioxide emission will be 1849 kg per year or 1.85 ton per year. For petrol based motor car, carbon dioxide emission, emission will be 4048 kg per year or 4.05 ton per, per, per year and for diesel based motor car or truck carbon dioxide emission will be 5316.8 kg per year or 5.32 ton per year. Here comparison of carbon dioxide emission from different vehicles shows that emission of carbon dioxide is lowest if petrol waste two wheeler is running 100 km per day for 320 days in year and diesel based motor car or truck will emit highest carbon dioxide of uh, highest amount of carbon dioxide from the same run. Petrol based motor car will emit lesser than diesel based motor car and CNG based three wheeler will, pro will produce lower carbon dioxide than petrol based motor car but higher than petrol based two wheeler. Here. Carbon dioxide emission calculation and emission factor is shown on the basis of mode of travel. Henceforth, henceforward, carbon dioxide emission is calculated in gram from different mode of travel by per passenger per kilometer. Thus, carbon dioxide emission from air travel is 172 gram carbon dioxide emission per passenger per kilometer from car travel. It is 131 gram carbon dioxide emission per passenger per kilometer and from bus and train it is 89 and 65 gram carbon dioxide emission per passenger per kilometer respectively. Now let's do the calculation for finding out the carbon dioxide emission from Mumbai to Delhi flight. So let's say the distance between Mumbai to Delhi flight is 1000 kilometer and the aircraft is carrying 180 passengers. So thumb rule says the fuel required at the rate of 3.5 liter per passenger per 100 kilometer. Thus for all passenger the fuel required will be 3.5 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 180 multiplied by 1000 by 100 that is 6300 liter fuel. So this fuel is needed for carrying 180 passenger by this aircraft. Now from previous table the carbon dioxide emission by air travel is 172 gram per passenger per kilometer. Therefore total carbon dioxide emission by aircraft carrying 180 passenger will be 172 multiplied by 180 multiplied by 1000 by 1000 that is 30,960 kg or 30.96 ton. Now assuming the warming potential is 3. Thus, we have to multiply the total carbon dioxide emission by aircraft to this warming potential. 
eventually we get 3 multiplied by 30.96 that is 92.88 ton of carbon dioxide emission. So, as conclusion we can say that in just one way from Mumbai to Delhi flight 92.88 ton of carbon dioxide will emit. Carbon dioxide is considered as greenhouse gases as we have seen in this discussion. Some worst effect of carbon dioxide of our environment and for our human health are carbon dioxide which is greenhouse gas released by us accumulated in the atmosphere as we have seen earlier resulting global warming and leading to a slow, cha slow changes in our climate. Global warming and climate change will cause serious health effect and sea level rise due to ice melting at north and south pole that will lead high tide storm and natural disaster. In this image we can see that if carbon dioxide emission were thanks for watching if you like this video please like if you have, if you have some doubts please comment below and subscribe to this channel for future environmental calculations. Thank you.